In 2021, the COVID-19 pandemic continued to take a heavy toll on the people and economies of Asia and the Pacific. The year saw the rollout of COVID-19 vaccines across the region, but progress was highly uneven. Throughout 2021, ADB remained committed to assisting Asia and the Pacific's continued fight against the pandemic, while focusing on the priority areas of its long-term strategy 2030, such as climate change and gender equality. Including its COVID-19 assistance, ADB's total commitments from its loans, grants, guarantees, equity investments, and technical assistance amounted to $22.8 billion during the year. ADB mobilized an additional $12.9 billion in co-financing. Non-sovereign commitments were $4.3 billion, including $1.2 billion in direct financing and $3.1 billion through private sector programs. Out of this total assistance, ADB committed $13.5 billion for the COVID-19 response in 2021. This included $4.1 billion to provide safe and equitable access to vaccines in 15 developing member countries. ADB also mobilized $8.9 billion in co-financing from Partners for COVID-19 Operations. This brought cumulative COVID-19 financing from ADB to almost $30 billion since the start of the pandemic, or $50 billion, including co-financing. By number, 60% of ADB's committed projects during 2021 contributed to climate change adaptation and mitigation. And climate finance in the year amounted to about $3.5 billion. Across all operations, ADB exceeded targets for committed projects supporting gender equality. In all, 82% of projects supported gender equality and mainstreaming directly, and all projects promote gender equality more broadly. Among its new commitments in 2021, the health sector accounted for the largest share of ADB operations at $5.9 billion, followed by finance at $4.1 billion. Some $3.4 billion of resources went into transport projects, $2.3 billion to public sector management, and $1.8 billion to energy. ADB continues to support its developing member countries toward a resilient recovery from the global pandemic and a prosperous, inclusive, and sustainable future.